What's up, YouTube? This is Simple Tank History. Well, today, we would be doing the um, M4 Sherman, the M4A1, M4A3. So, to begin with, the M4A1 was one of the first Shermans to be created because it had a um, world homogenous armor instead of the M4 having the cast armor. So, the M4A1 and M4, um, they both had, um, a 75 and a 76 millimeter. Um, the, their predecessor, the one before the N4s, were the, the M3 medium tank, which was basically later known as M3 Lee, or over in Britain, where they took our design, there's named the M3 Grant. And so, they, back in World War II, the tanks that were used the most was actually the um, 75 millimeter because the high explosive shells in the 75 millimeters actually blew up more with more strap more shrapnel than their 76 predecessor and well their colleague basically so their 76 millimeter had less explosive but more penetration for having against tiger tanks and stuff like that but they mainly went against what you want to call it infantry yeah they went against infantry and everything but instead of having the 75 shoot they had a m4 a3 um known as uh Sherman 105, which shot a 105 millimeter shell, which shot heat and then HE. They mainly used heat to go through real thick concrete, basically, or they went through smaller and weaker tanks. HE was against for uh, infantry. So the first Sherman the M4A1, they had, of course, a 75, but they also had a gyro um, stabilizer. But this had a consequence to it. They can't go um, their max speed, which tanks in that combat situation never could be at top speed. So they had they ran into a problem if they have to go on a road, which they probably can reach their top speed, they will. Um, they can't stay stabilized. So, for instance, you're driving down the road, you know how you bounce and everything. So, yeah, if you have a stabilizer... What it does, instead of, like, making the gun bounce and everything, it'll keep it, um, stabilized. Following, um, where the crosshair is at. Um, uh, because this is actually, America actually created this. They had this first idea, and it later came out into all the modern tanks and everything like that. Except Russia, for some reason, they don't want to do that. Um, uh, that's for another episode, is why Russia didn't have stabilizers. So... They had quite a bit of things for them during World War II. There is about, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying, I don't know, I know it. There is like 64,550 some of these M4 Sherman tanks that were created during World War II. And then like, I don't know, 35 some thousand M3 tanks because the M3 these were actually a project tank that was um, between the... Um, World War One and World War Two, so they got that design and they tried to ship out as much tanks as possible, which America knew what they were doing. So they're so they were in field. They're fielded in nineteen thirty nine to nineteen forty two until their T thirty four partners, not the Russian tanks, but they actually had T thirty twos and T thirty four. No, not T thirty twos. T thirty fours, which was their um, what do you want to. No, the T twenty six was the one above that, and then after the, then the T thirty four came around because that was the heavy tank of the T twenty six. So for the Sherman, the place of origin was of course the United States. It was in service. Um, this was for during World War Two, but after World War Two, into well the end of World War Two to now is nineteen forty two to nineteen fifty seven. Um, so yeah, that was used in a bit of the Cold War, but of course we all know the Cold War wasn't technically a you know, war. It was just nuclear conflicts. Um, there is wars it was used in in World War Two, Indonesian National Um Revolution. The Greek Silver War was actually weird they actually had that in there. Or uh, in nineteen forty eight the Arab Israeli War, the Korean War, Cuban Revolution, 
Revolucion Liberatoria, the Suez Crisis, the 1958 Libyan Crisis, and etc. Um, the designer actually came from the U.S. Army Ordnance Department. Um, it was designed in 1940, but as I, as it was saying, in 1942 is when it was able to come out. That's two years of designing and engineering this 